Okay. Okay, let's get this here. Man, you've been making me look good with this YouTube shit. I really appreciate it. For real. For real. Actor. You know what the actual real term is for an actor? Uh, I don't know. Hypocrite. Really? Yes. Mm. Do you know why? I don't. Because you're playing something that you're not. You're playing a role that's mm. not you. That's a good point. Hypocrite. I'm not cool with that. <laughs> so let's just say, no, you should try all the way up. So I've never seen myself like that. Mm. Even though, you know, when you're a little kid, you like to play the role of somebody you just saw on TV or something, and, you know, Lone Ranger, or you want to be your favorite wrestler, can you smell what the rock is cooking, and throw the eyebrow up and everything, you know, kind of want to be these guys sometimes. <laughs> Me, back in the day, I wanted to be Batman. I still want to be Batman. But with these videos, I gotta say, this shit's a blast. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm having, I'm having an okay time doing this. Mm -hmm. Like I told you before, I came up out of this, you know, for the reasons that I came out. But you can't, you know. I mean, who was it said it? Can't we all just get along? Mm -hmm. You know, that's kind of yeah. me. I just want to. Yeah. Man, I don't even know you. How do I know I don't like you? Unless we sit down and try and have a beer and chat it out, chop it up. Definitely. And that's me. You know. Mm -hmm. That's why my friends, I got this one friend, his girl. Mm -hmm. Every time she got somebody over at the house, she wants to tell the story. Mm -hmm. When I first met Mike. He came in the house, and Jimmy introduced me to his best friend, Mike. What's Mike do? Mike walks over to the coffee table. He picks up my purse. And I really did do this. I picked up her purse. I opened it up, and I stuck my face in it. I don't know. You know, all the way down in the bag like this here. And I'm looking around. And I close it up, tuck it up underneath my bag, and I ran out the back door. <laughs> or up underneath my armpit, and I ran out the back door. Now, apparently, when I did that, everybody sitting at the, at the, around the coffee table going, what just happened? <laughs> kind of attitude. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, like I said, I ran out the back door. Mm -hmm. But when I came back in, I came back in the front door. Mm -hmm. and that's when I introduced myself. Hi, I'm Mike Wilson. This must belong to you. <laughs> She's like, and this is your friend? <laughs> so I, you know, I got her all relaxed and loosened up like that. But now she likes to tell the story about when we go to the grocery store. I went to the grocery store with them one time shopping. Wasn't doing anything out just chilling, having a good time with my day, and uh, she needed to go to, I think we went to a Walmart or something like that, Wingo, mm. you know, yeah, one of them kind of stores, right. and we're in there, man, and I'm cutting up, I'm telling jokes to all the strangers, man, I'm taking the produce and doing funny crap with it. <laughs> You know, yeah. I'm just acting stupid. And the whole time she's in the store with me, she's like, I don't know this guy, you know. Because <laughs> of the way he acted, I'm not with him. You know, I'm there with my best friend and his girl. Mm -hmm. It's just funny. Now that's all she likes to talk about. Man, this guy, 
And anytime we go to the restaurant, mm -hmm. we do stuff like that. The waiter comes to the table if we get a waiter if we at that kind of restaurant. I'm always involving them in my table. Mm -hmm. Right? So now, everybody knows the trick. Mm -hmm. Why I get such killer service wherever mm -hmm. I go. Because I involve the people in their own thing, man. The waitress came to the table, I'm telling her jokes, you know, and asking her all kinds of questions, making her turn red in the face, all <laughs> embarrassed and shit. I just do this stuff, man. I poke at people. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. <laughs> and I like it, and I ain't stopping. You know why? Because a lot of the time, a person actually appreciates being noticed, no matter how you notice them. Mm -hmm. You don't want to notice a person in a negative manner. Right. But if I notice you, here, I got a perfect story for you. Mm. Talking about noticing somebody. Don't try this. Ain't none of you should try this, because you can't do me. Only me. I can do me, because that's what I was put here for. So you don't do me. Do you. Okay? But I'm going to tell you like this. This is a true story. Right across the street outside, you know, there's Columbia Bank right across the street over here on the corner. Right. So I'm coming, uh, I'm coming back to work one day, running some errands on my lunch break. And uh, there's this tall young man mm -hmm. at the corner. He's, he's a few steps ahead of me. Maybe about 10, 15 feet. Mm -hmm. And because uh, the guy's tall, he's got kind of a good stride on him. I got to pick up my pace if I'm going to catch up with this kid. Figuring he's in his early 20s. And so I'm like, I'm like, hey, excuse me. The guy turns around, he's like, you talking to me? Well, I don't say a word. And I pick up my pace, and I catch up to him. Yeah. And I'm like, look right up at him, because this kid is bigger than me. Right. Early 20s. I'm an old man by this time. Okay, forget yeah. when I'm now, you know, I was old then. Okay. <laughs> well, this is why y'all can't do me. Mm -hmm. He looks at me, says, you talking to me? I look right at him, look right up at him like this here, and I popped him right in his shoulder. Didn't know this kid. I don't know you for Jack. Okay? Oh, boy. Yeah. The kid grabbed his arm like this. Yeah. He's like, you know, got that look on his face. He's like, what do I do? I turned around and looked at him, and I pointed to my left, and I said, yeah. Slug bug blue. The kid starts <laughs> laughing, man. Okay? He starts oh, laughing man. his tail off. He's like, oh, man, if that was a PT Cruiser, that would have been mine, dude. You cheat, man. You cheat. That's, it's my aunt is cracking up, laughing off my tail. <laughs> we get to the corner. Here comes two of his buddies around the corner. Good oh, thing I didn't start a fight with this young man. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So the kids get to the corner. He and I are saying goodbye. I'm telling him thank you for being so cool about it because I'm just, you know, we just joking around. I, you know, I get it, man. That was, a, that was really cool, man. He's like, I'm like, thank you very much for not getting an attitude. Mm -hmm. He turns around. He goes the opposite way he just came because he met up with his two buddies and they're there to go to lunch. Mm -hmm. Right? And so they turn around. They're going the opposite direction. I'm facing where I'm going. Yeah. And I do it again. Hey! Kid turns around. He's like, you talking to me? And I point it again. I go, PT Cruiser Bruiser. He's like, no. <laughs> me and the dog are going off. Oh, I couldn't boy. stop laughing. Yeah. Now, who on the planet do you know that can do that? I can't think Sock of a total stranger in the arm and not get your ass kicked. <laughs> How many people you don't, you don't do me? I do me. Yeah, okay. Let's go back halfway in. Ooh.
Ooh. Not bad. Yeah. Someone with cracked ribs. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Hurts a little bit. Especially with the uh, rag. Yeah. Brushes weren't so bad though. Mm. Getting old, Mike, getting old. It's all right. You know, it's like fine wine, they say. Yeah. I ain't doing nothing but getting better. Mm -hmm. Let's put some color on here. I think that was the longest I've ever seen you done, done that. Yeah, let's go back halfway in. having me listen to that Zulu <laughs> them little rock gods I had to pull up Jada Pinkett Smith man mm. you know wicked wisdom mm -hmm. I like that one cut she does mm. I was playing it one day matter of fact 
I'm in my truck just one time, and uh, I'm playing Beautiful People by Marilyn Manson, right? I'm in my truck, and I'm rocking out, man, because I like that cut. Pull up next to a, uh, another person in their car, and they see me just headbanging, man, right? <laughs> And they motion over mm -hmm. to get my attention. They can hear it because I got it cranked, you know. Mm -hmm. And the person's like, Do you like that kind of music? <laughs> yeah, I know why you're asking. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, man, <laughs> playing that Marilyn Manson. I like that song, Beautiful People, all the beautiful yeah. people. <laughs> okay, where are we going to work that heat gun today? Mm. I cleaned them up, got them saddle soaked, rinsed them off. Yes, because the young lady in Seattle is right. <laughs> Saddle soap can leave a residue. But you want to rinse that off, Mama. You really do. <laughs> what I'm actually working here on him right now is not an actual conditioner. It's wax. Like you see the neutral wax right here. Mm -hmm. This is wax. It's also neutral. But it's a paste. It's not hard like that wax is. Yeah. It's more like the Obanoff's heavy duty. Mm -hmm. Pasty. Okay. Yeah. More of a grease. Only it's a wax. We gonna put that on, mm -hmm. and I did. Mm. Had me kind of messed up for a minute there, but yeah, I just likes people, man. I just do. I'm one of them cats. You can't go wrong with a person that likes people. Mm -hmm. And actually, I went through a phase where I actually didn't like people. Mm. And I think that came from after I was doing the YouTube videos. All the negativity and the thing and the thing and the thing seems mm -hmm. sniffling. I told you this. Yeah. These products here, man. I think I'm, think I'm done. Mm. I think I gotta put them away. They done, they done got me. After over forty years of doing this, man, mm. I finally have contracted some allergies towards the products. Because they certainly make me do this quite a bit. Give me a sec here. And I will go fix that. You know what? I got something. We gonna put it on the world. I know what to do. All right. Give me just a second here. Melt that wax. Get it to dry up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right now it's greasy. Can't really work with it. Mm -hmm. We need to uh, get that to melt down and soak in. So you see the shoe gets shiny. I try to show you all this all the time. So you can see it actually melting. You want to move the heat gun. Even with me, I got the heat gun fairly close to the shoe. Sometimes you want to hold the heat gun back. I like to keep mine right up there, but I move it and I keep it moving. 
You don't want to hold it on a spot because that shit is hot. Mm -hmm. So, much as I like the heat, and that's what you want, I keep it real close to the shoe like this here. But I keep that thing moving, man. I don't let it stop. Okay? You want to keep that heat gun moving. Don't leave it in any two, one spot too long. See this around here? Don't touch that to the shoe either. It will burn and melt that like pretty much instantly. Because it gets hot, man. Maybe one day I'll do a demonstration of how actually dangerous these things can kind of be. Oh, I should have got me an extension cord. Turn me this way a little bit. There we go. I'm touching. But yes, these things are... Uh, they can be considered to be dangerous, man, because they, they are. Get the little warnings and the instruction directions. And yep. Yep. Yeah, I can definitely feel the heat. Getting warm in there now? Oh, yeah. It's it's definitely drying. Yeah. That's what we want. I can tell a difference. Yeah. So, what we did so far was we washed them up. I went over them the whole entire boot with some liquid conditioner. The liquid conditioner helps soak in real fast. Okay? Mm -hmm. And a lot of the time I do these demonstrations, I gotta let y'all know, I'm trying to show you, without the polish, what your product should be doing, okay? Um, as I look out there, I really gotta get me some of this. So anybody like me well enough, send me some Saphir. Send a jar of black, mm. so we can mess with the black Saphir. But I need to get me some of that. Right there, as you can see, I don't have that even leaning on the table. Mm -hmm. I got it propped up, so it's nice and flat and just sitting there. Okay, so these are ooh, good and warm, that's mm -hmm. for sure. <laughs> so those are dry now. Yeah. Now, you know your boy, mm -hmm. he likes to work backwards. Coming back to the liquid conditioner again. Mm -hmm. We're just going to put it down here this time. Yeah. Grease right there. Okay. So, y'all know your boy like to work backwards, so we gonna do this just slightly backwards. Mm. Thought I was putting polish on there. Now, no, no, no. I'm go ahead and put some more of this liquid conditioner. Now, why am I doing that? Mm. As we all know, neutral is a finisher product. Because it's such a hard polish. Mm -hmm. It's a hard polish. That's why when a guy want to do a spit shine, he uses a lot of that neutral on the rag with the ice cold water. Mm -hmm. The ice cold water helps keep the pores closed mm -hmm. so that the shine sits on the surface where it's mm -hmm. supposed to be. Yeah. And beams and gleams. You can look down in that like a car finish. You literally could tie your tie. Mm. Literally. See your eye color and all of that. You do a proper spit shine, that's what you should be able to do. You should be able to see all the colors no matter where they're at. Mm -hmm. Tie your eyes, man, I'm telling you. See it all. 
So, I just used that paste wax because I want it to start that hardening process on the shoe. We get that to soak in, start to coat up, start to layer up. See? In the military, what'd you do? Can of polish, water, one spot for hours. Polish, water, one spot. Isn't that what y'all did? Okay. I, uh, after testing and doing this for over 40 years, have found some shortcuts. Mm. So, we can take that polish and we can kind of soften it back up a little bit, mm -hmm. which is what I'm doing. It's a hard polish surface coat. I'm kind of loosening it back up soaking it in some more now let's just let that dry for a second and I'm gonna show you what that did mm -hmm. no polish I'm gonna let that dry see if we can get it to dry a little bit faster mm -hmm. Martin the maketh He'd probably be proud of me right now. You ever see Martin on his videos? He does his shoes by hand like here. He slaps the boot and dude was kind of cool with it. He really was. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. And that's all that does. Helps to pull off some excess. You can put it on your apron if you got a pair of jeans, wipe it on your jeans, man. But all you're doing with this here, getting the surface stuff off, it comes off on your hands, you pull it right off. Yeah. If you feel that now, that's dry. It's mm. not even tacky. Yeah. Okay? Mm. So now we're just going to go straight to the brushes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again. We use some paste wax. Yeah. Trying to show you that color there. Mm -hmm. I use some liquid conditioner. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. We didn't use any of this. Okay. We didn't do anything. I got that. Mm -hmm. We didn't do that. glow can you see the difference mm -hmm. <clears throat> now the world knows I like my microfiber cloths mm -hmm. they see me use these a lot we're going straight to a shoe shine chamois mm -hmm. cotton raw cotton you could probably tear a pair of jeans apart and make one of these mm. that's almost exactly what it is literally when you look at this side, it looks like a pair of jeans. Yeah. And it feels like jeans. It's raw cotton. Mm -hmm. We're going to run this over the shoe. But we're going to do it at a, with some speed. Trying not to hurt myself here with the ribs and everything. Yeah. Heat that up some more with the rag. Shining up. Nice and warm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Let's go ahead and get this up. While we let that one sit, can you see a difference? Oh yeah, definitely. Much richer in color already. Mm -hmm. Starting to take on its shine properties. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. And that's all I did, y'all. So now from here, if you want to start putting a polish on there, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would suggest 
put a coat of polish on there, let it sit for about 10 minutes, mm -hmm. and then come and brush it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a cut. Well, we got some Aaliyah. Yeah, we might have to pick that one up later, y'all. All right, she had me grooving a little bit. Yeah. I got about 10 minutes before I had to dip out. Ten minutes? Yeah. See, there you go. Wow. See that shining up there, y'all? Mm-hmm. Two products. That's wow. where your, your base should start. Mm -hmm. You're trying to get that spit shine, man. I see a yeah. lot of guys, they spend a lot of time rubbing into one spot. Mm -hmm. You really don't have to if you don't want to. You can do the whole entire shoe all at one time. You don't have to just rub here and then move over and then move over. You literally don't. But give yourself a little bit of dry time. Let that product sit there and do what it's supposed to do with the shoe. Mm -hmm. Especially conditioners. You know, you want to let them sit. Mm -hmm. Some of the best shines I ever did, I put the product on there with the conditioner, and I left it overnight. Mm -hmm. Came back the next day, brushed it up, and it was just amazing. Wow. I was very surprised. Just give it a shot, try it, see if it works for you. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of methods out here shining shoes these days. Mm -hmm. Kind of the reason why I got away from the tutorials. Yeah. Besides the fact that I just like popping the rag anyway. <laughs> you know, so. Mike Wilson. Mm -hmm. Mike Shoe and Leather Care in Spokane. Try it out. Let me know. Holla at your boy. There's a good one too. That's uh, Robert Glasper. You know Robert Glasper? Uh, yeah, you told me about him. Yeah, he makes some pretty good jazz. Mm -hmm. And Yaba, mm -hmm. the vocalist. Yeah. some new tan <laughs> starting to dry out yeah got another couple cans in there yeah. this 
my father taught me that just because the polish is broken up don't mean it's bad. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of one of them things I've been trying to tell the world mm -hmm. about the tan and the neutral polish. These are finishing polishes. Mm -hmm. These aren't something you actually want to start with. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's a finisher. It's where the shine is coming from. Mm -hmm. Okay, not necessarily so much those cream polishes. Yeah. I can get those to shine. I can get them to shine good. Mm -hmm. I did a spit shine with just the cream once, and I had a military person. He couldn't believe I did it. Mm. So I did it for him again. So as you can see, mm -hmm. I'm a bit of a minimalist. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Use very little products, and I still get the same finish mm -hmm. the guy next to me is trying to get, yeah. and he used a whole bunch more shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay? All right. 40 years of doing it, you learn something. Yep, hold your foot good for me. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yes. Also, mm -hmm. with you right now, mm -hmm. we could put some more heat to that. Mm -hmm. And it'll soak in some more. Mm -hmm. And then I come back over again. Mm -hmm. Got you cleaned up good. All right. All right. Didn't do too much. Mm -hmm. stitches yeah. in there inside in the back <laughs> see what it did to your heel mm -hmm. it's conditioned yes. it's not sole edge dressing sole edge dressing mm -hmm. even though I got it and I can use it mm -hmm. and I try not to why? Because when you're using it and you're trying to get in this area in here, guys have a tendency to get it up on the shoe right there. Yeah. Then, in order to get that off, which a lot of guys actually don't, they'll take a uh, rag and they'll try and wipe that off. Mm -hmm. But it's if they're using the product that's got acrylic in it, it's on there. You have to use a little acetone to get it off. Okay. So, me, again, learning from these mistakes, mm -hmm. learning from things that actually can slow you down, I come to discover by doing it one day that conditioner on a leather sole edge there it is. Mm -hmm. Your sole edge is leather. If you're putting this on the leather upper, you can put it on the leather edge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it does nothing but help it get rich color. Mm -hmm. So we'll let that sit for just a sec. Mm -hmm. I put these back. Yeah. Get you down out of the chair. Wipe off the uh, underside. Mm -hmm. So back at Nordstrom, mm -hmm. when I did this at 17 years old at Nordstrom, you'd put that sole edge on there. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, sometimes guys get it under there. I practiced well enough where I could go by through there pretty quick, mm -hmm. one or two swipes, without getting it up there, but it takes a lot of practice, man. You know, mm -hmm. so with guys out there watching the videos, I'm literally trying to give them them things they can do that are kind of shortcut -y that won't make them have to go back over their work and correct stuff. Mm -hmm. You get the sole edge on the shoe, you got to go back over it, get it off, acetone, then put the color back, 
polish. Mm -hmm. It okay, so we're just doing it all over again, man. You know, mm -hmm. see what I mean? So I discovered ways that I don't have to screw myself up no more. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. Now tell me that don't look good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice and dry. Oh yeah. So. Bada bink. <laughs> all done there, kid. Oh yeah. Thank you so much. You're very welcome.